Ethiopian military, one of the most powerful on the African continent and respected by the United States, recently faced heavy losses on the front lines by forcing the government to take the extraordinary step of inviting ordinary citizens to join the war. Tigray People's Liberation Front spokesman Gita Shireda tweeted that the army sent a drone to attack a residential area of Mekel around 1 a.m. A year into a conflict between government forces and the Tigray People's Liberation Front, Ethiopia has seen thousands of lives lost and more than a million people displaced. A dispute last year between Addis Ababa and the Tigray People's Liberation Front about the postponement of national elections due to the coronavirus pandemic led to the current violence. Tigray went ahead with regional elections against the wishes of the national government, prompting clashes that have been ongoing since November 2020. The Tigray People's Liberation Front controlled Ethiopia for 25 years before being forced into opposition when Abi Ahmad was elected prime minister in 2018, after which they consolidated their power base in Tigray.